and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, go ahead and click subscribe if you haven't already. Today we're going to talk about a specific nook at Graceland that's items are still preserved on the grounds. Let's dive in. So Elvis's childhood bike was discovered to be hanging in the smokehouse all along. It is now safely preserved and on display for future generations, saved from a fate of rusting into dust in the cold corner of the smokehouse. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. But what else is in there? In the empty corner where the bike used to be is typical storage shed old junk, or is it? There's one large light and two small lights, so let's explore where those came from. Looking at the larger light close up, we can see that there are these spiderweb type designs across the top of the panes of the glass. Here's a photo of Elvis, Priscilla, Jerry Schilling, and his girlfriend Sandy Coelho in 1966, standing in front of one of the stained glass windows. Now let's take a closer look at the light affixed to the wall. These sconces from the 60s have a sort of flared shape topper and a small round piece on the top. Here's a photo of one of the sconces there today, and they are definitely new. The base has a little hat with a pointy little top piece. So meditation garden lights ruled out. When you visit Graceland today, this is the porch light you see and have seen since the museum opened in 1982. It's a green intricate metal globe surrounding the light that's inside. Here's an early photo of Elvis on the porch, deep in thought, soon after he purchased Graceland, wearing what I call his 1957 Lansky jacket because he wore it all the time. But it actually wasn't just him that enjoyed the fine menswear from Lansky's. But back to the photo of Elvis on the porch. Hanging above him is this giant porch light. If we zoom in on just the light, it's kind of hard to see, but there are those drapey spiderweb designs across the top of the glass. One down. Something we can't see from the photo of Elvis on the porch in 1957 are the two light fixtures on the house on either side of the front door, as in this view of the porch today. You guessed it. The two matching smaller lights in the corner of the smokehouse, wires hanging out and all, are from the porch as well. So all of these were original to the house and were there when Elvis moved in. Here's a great shot of Vernon and Gladys admiring their new paradise. Check out above Vernon's shoulder. It's one of the small lights. Here is Elvis showing off the property to actress Yvonne Lime on Easter weekend 1957. There's one of the small porch lights front and center. One of the clearest photos from the early days that also shows the original porch lights doesn't even include Elvis. This photo was taken during the huge remodeling process the Presleys did as soon as they got the keys. This picture is just so crystal clear, so let's take a closer look at the porch. In addition to the original lights, there is a sign on the door that says no admittance. But Elvis wasn't a fan of these lights and wanted to add his own touch to the porch soon after moving in. In early June 1958, Elvis is home on leave from the army and a photographer captures him in front of the house. One photo of him on the driveway captures the porch lights in the background and they are the new globes that are the ones we see today, but they are white at this time. But let's try to go back even further. Here's a super clear photo of Elvis with an unnamed guy. This photo is dated January 1958, but it is possible it could be late 57. Behind them, we can see the white globes on the porch. So when were they painted green? Let's take a look at Elvis's 1974 album titled Elvis, recorded live on stage in Memphis. The cover is the front of Graceland and still the metal globes are white. This photo of Linda on the porch post the 1974 remodel shows that they are still white, as well as this undated mid 70s photo. However, by the time the movie This Is Elvis was filmed in 1981, they are now green and have stayed that way ever since. This didn't start as a mission to clear out the whole smokehouse, but here we are. And that is it. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram for fun facts and rare photos that don't make it into the videos. I'll also be sharing some of the photos I used in this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more adventures.